Hey gang, it's Scott with the No Budget Homestead, and uh, hope everyone had a really good Thanksgiving. I know I ate myself silly, but anyways, <laughs> uh, today what I want to do is I uh, thought I'd bring you guys along with me as I get our hurricane lanterns prepared for winter. Uh, I got these in a barter, so I uh, had something that some somebody else wanted. It was a uh, 55 gallon drum pump, which I had no use for. I'm probably going to regret that further on down the road, down the road. But uh, for those, I got four of these lamps, hurricane lamps. And uh, today I'm going to show you what I do to get them prepared, good to go. And so if they're always available and to be used, sometimes it's nice to use them uh, just outside, you know, instead of turning the light on because it's a warmer light. But anyways, uh, let me show you the stuff that we need to get started. Okay, we got the lamp oil, and I'm using lamp oil instead of kerosene. And then, of course, I got a little funnel to put it in there, which I made out of a little plastic solo cup. Uh, of course, you got the lantern. I got some extra wicks in case I need them. And, of course, one of the most important things to do on an early morn morning, cool morning, uh, in the fall when you're doing all this outside, is a nice hot cup of coffee. All right, anyways, uh, <laughs> so I got uh, a few more over here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, first check everything out, make sure it's okay. I've already cleaned them, but uh, I wanna check and make sure. <clears throat> now, of course, you got the globe here, the glass globe, the body, uh, the wick adjustment. And somebody just started doing some chainsaws something so we have the body we have the globe of course the cap to put the fuel in and you only want to fill to it like this line right here which uh, this one actually says I got two other ones that are a little older that don't say that you just fill right up to the uh, just below the uh, lip here okay that way it doesn't slosh around and everything now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the globe out and check the wick so you lift the top up, spring loaded, and then you got a little over here, you pull it down. Okay, and then we pop the globe out, set it safely aside. Okay, and one thing I found, and I don't know if you guys can see it, is this, and these are cheap Chinese ones. Uh, if, I probably wouldn't have went out and bought these, because you can get these for about $10 at Walmart. But uh, <clears throat> these have uh, part that covers the wick. I'm using all the technical terms here. Part that covers the wick. Okay, that has these little edges right here. And when you stick it down, you turn it and it goes under two little clips here. Okay, and then we got the wick assembly, which we got a short little wick and the little gasket here that goes over there to seal in the uh, to seal out the uh, oil from the wick and everything. Uh, this wick is okay. This wick will do okay for now. So we'll go ahead and put it all back in here. Okay. Now take the globe. See, all that looks good. Pop it back in. Lift. This bad boy is just getting to be a pain in the butt. And there we have it. Okay, now we're going to try putting oil in there. Some lamp oil. Got to push down and unscrew it. Okay, we need a little funnel. Okay. And now we just want to be real careful. Not spill anything, which is why I got cardboard down here. Oh, and I still spilt it. Okay, that looks almost about right. Okay. 
which we'll put this back on here real good. Alright, that's how I do it. And now I got three more to go. Alright, so I went ahead and filled up the lamp and everything. Then what we'll do is oh, gotta have a trusty lighter. Alrighty. Lift it up and I give it a little extra there. Alright. And then we put it down nicely and then adjust the wick accordingly. And there we have it. And uh, puts out a nice warm light. And you can hang these up. I got hooks all over my porch here that I can hang these up on. Or if you have places in the house, I'd recommend hanging them. If you have like something you can mount on the wall to hang them on, then it would be real nice. It's also kind of nice to have the warm light around the house. Uh, of course, always be careful when you're dealing with flammable liquid. Make sure uh, that the children in the household understand that it you know it's not a toy it's not something they need to be playing with mm -hmm. alright guys I'm back uh, had a little issue with one of my neighbors uh, using their chainsaw you know so I tried to let him finish but now the other neighbors using his but in his backyard so if you hear this faint sound of chainsaws that's what it is alright that's two down uh, I got one two more to go so I'll go ahead and get those done. Don't want to sound like a broken record. So anyways, thanks again, guys, for stopping by and stopping by the No Budget Homestead and checking this out. I'm Scott. Hope you guys have a simply unbelievable day. God bless. See you on the next video.